obviously boxing Pete like to be joined by Cruiserweight Dion Juma at the Open Workout um, at London Bridge ahead of next weekend, March 26th. Dion, I know you've just arrived, just called you as you were coming in. Um, thanks for a bit of your time this afternoon. Um, how are you? How, how would you think of the event so far? Amazing. Well, just got in myself, um, had a couple of interviews, some pictures. It's nice to do some real promotional stuff. I actually haven't done anything like this in quite a while. So, um, yeah, good to get back in the mix. Yeah, great stuff. So, you've had a change of opponent, which I'm sure you're going to be asked about a lot today. Um, how, how are you feeling about the change of opponent, which is going for undefeated fighter, champion, very good. What do you think about him compared to compared to, compared to Mikhail Yoko Lowell? They've got um, similar fundamentals in terms of, well, they've got a similar mentality. Um, they're there, they try to take you out, big right hand, big left, um, not a lot in between that. Uh, I've seen Richard lately, he's touching you on the jab a lot more, so that's good on his part, but it's not going to be enough on fight night, because of what I've got for him is skills that have been practiced, gained over a long period of time. Yeah, just wanted to ask about the spell out of the ring as well, I know that. Covid's kind of hit a lot of fighters hard. Um, was your last fight against was it against Wadi Camacho in your court? Was that the last fight? I had a I had a fight against a journeyman okay. two three weeks back. Okay. Uh, before that, it was two years back against Sampai in Manchester. Yeah, um, apologies, I mean, you, yeah, went, went to Manchester twice. Sampai before that, you and your fight Wadi Camacho. Yeah. I was there in your course, so I just remember, remember it quite well. It was a great night. I remember you stopped Wadi Camacho, and I don't remember we didn't fight again. Um, are you? Would you say you were a different fighter between the two? The Sam Hyde fight and the Wadi, Wadi Kamacho fight. And you, have, you, have you been learning a lot since then? I train differently for every fight depending on what opponent I have. So I can fight a number of different ways. I don't think anyone can see me and be like, oh, the on fights like this. So um, I fought Wadi and then we heard we're getting Sam and we had to change the, the way we fought for that fight. It's, it's what the fight should be able to do. Brilliant. Thanks. Just a final question for me. I know um, I just wanted to ask what you think about the going to Wembley Arena as well. And it's, 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 it's a big arena, it's very different to your full. How are you feeling about the prospect of fighting in front of such a big crowd compared to your previous fights? Not only that, but headlining it as well. Dream come true. Great dream come true. Um, I couldn't be happier with how things have turned out, just especially after the two years out. Um, everything's coming together. Great. Okay, Dan, we won't give up to you. We won't give up any more of your time. I appreciate the interview. Good luck next weekend. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you, Dan.